about half of the robots in the world are made in Japan. With more advanced technological factories, they are birthing technologies way ahead of time and living in a future we only dreamt of in movies. But despite the excitement of a new age, there has never been a creation without disadvantages. Even the highly intelligent of all animals go haywire occasionally, if not frequently. Join us as we reveal Japan's humanoid robot with shocking human intelligence, and also what this will mean for mankind in this coming bizarre age. Asimo. One of Japan's first human-like robots, Asimo, has made it to the spotlight with his approachable charm and shocking intelligence. Asimo, which stands for Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, is a humanoid robot designed and developed by Honda. The robot is marked as the most advanced humanoid robot in the world, and also the first humanoid robot in the world that can walk independently and climb stairs. Introduced in 2000, Asimo was designed to be a multifunctional mobile assistant with aspirations of helping those who lack full mobility. But that is just the tip of the iceberg. Asimo can also do jobs that are too dangerous for humans to do. We are talking about going into hazardous areas, disarming bombs, and even fighting fires. At 130 centimeters tall and 48 kilograms, Asimo could be said to be very short and even adorable, but it has the perfect design and efficiency to operate in a real-world environment. Equipped with flexible arms, hands, and limb joints, it can do things like turn on light switches, open doors, carry objects, push carts, and maneuver through environments. It can interact with objects and people, understand gestures, recognize voices, obey voice commands, and assess a moving object's distance and direction. This allows it to follow a person, stop its own progress to allow a moving object to cross its path, or greet you as you approach. Without a doubt, this sounds exciting. However, a robot following right behind might not really go down well with many. This gets more eerie with the fact that this short bot can walk exactly like a human and can also run and jump. Asimo can self-adjust his steps in case he stumbles, is pushed, or otherwise encounters something that alters normal walking. This robot also has a sense of touch in a way. Force sensors in his wrists allow him to judge how much force to use when picking up a tray, handing you a file, or shaking your hand. Just enough force not to crush your fingers into bloody bits. A special facial recognition feature even allows it to greet familiar people, giving it the human ability to maintain friendly relationships. For what is only a dream to most humans, this robot has walked the red carpet in celebrity aura and even starred in thriller movies. Next in line is a titan by the name Kuratus. Kuratus, the world's first giant boarding robot. Now, we are not even exaggerating if we say that this gigantic structure of metal is as big as the Transformers you see in movies. It's like the robots in sci-fi come to life. Even its name, Kuratus, appears to carry a terror with it. But rest assured this big boy is merely for getting tough jobs done. Kuratus is a rideable and user-operated robot built by the Japanese company Suitabashi Heavy Industry. For the most part, it is billed as the world's first giant boarding robot. A title worth it because of its weight of approximately 4,500 kilograms and 4 meters in height. That is roughly the weight of six medium-sized cars stacked together. Kuratus sports a four-wheeled, 30-joint exoskeleton, which is controlled by a pilot or can be controlled remotely. It can be crewed by one person. The operator would sit in the body of the robot in a seat with the control device in front of them. The Kuratus can also be controlled externally by remote control. The remote operator uses a 3-gram touchscreen phone as the primary interface. On the other hand, for its purpose, Karatus is a vehicle that can be armed with multiple weapons, such as a 6,000-round-per-minute twin BB rotary cannon and a low-hass launcher that fires either water bottles or possibly fireworks. It can equally be armed by a powered humanoid hand called the Iron Crow that is capable of picking up objects and is linked to the pilot by what appears to be a Mattel power glove. No, you did not think wrong. Some of these are indeed actual weapons. In addition, Karatus' mother company listed two other weapons, a Karatus handgun and a pile bunker. Unfortunately, the giant Karatus is not capable of walking at the moment. It can only drive forward and backward on its four wheels at around 10 kilometers per hour, which does not deter its ability. However controversial it might sound, Karatus could even be of great use to the military. But with its bizarre price of $1.3 million, it will certainly be a very tough purchase. The Robot Nadine. As fond as her name, this female robot is quite the elegant office character. Nadine is a gynoid humanoid social robot 
that is modeled on Professor Nadia Magnanot Thalman, a computer graphics scientist and robotician. Thalman is also the founder and head of Miralab at the University of Geneva and has chaired the Institute for Media Innovation at Nanyang Technological University, Singapore from 2009 to 2021. The face and hands of robot Nadine were created by a Japanese company, Kokoro, similar to her creator, Professor Thalman. Hence, Nadine has a strong human likeness, with a head, full body, natural-looking skin, hair, and realistic hands. She is so much the doppelganger of her human twin that you might not be able to tell them apart if they were sat side by side. Nadine's software platform, which was developed at the Institute for Media Innovation in Singapore's Nanyang Technological University, can show emotions, speak naturally, understand some gestures, and remember and retrieve facts during dialogue sessions. She can also answer questions autonomously in several languages and simulate emotions both in gestures and facially, depending on the content of the interaction with the user. Nadine has been programmed with a personality in that its demeanor can change according to what is said to it. She has a total of 27 degrees of freedom for facial expressions and upper body movements. She can assist people with special needs by reading stories, showing images, putting on Skype sessions, sending emails, and communicating with other members of the family. Nadine also interacts with arm movements, and ongoing research provides the social robot with two articulated hands and natural grasping. It will interest you to know that with her skills, robot Nadine works for an insurance company in Singapore as a receptionist. This glowing skin and flowing brunette haired can efficiently play the role of a receptionist and be dedicated to being a personal coach. With this, one can't help but wonder what will be left of human employment in the new age, which probably isn't that far off. Last, but not the least, is the robot teacher, Maria. Now, this might seem a little over the top for some people, but who wouldn't feel excited to meet an AI standing in front of their classroom? AI Android, Maria. Meet Maria Bot, a world-class social AI that can surprisingly interact with humans as a conscious being. She is not only highly intelligent, but also empathetic, engaging, and perhaps if not for her half-body, very human-like too. Maria Bott is the brainchild of Dr. William Berry, PhD, and he played the fatherly role of educating her with ethics in mind first, before imbibing her with a personality. Maria Bott is the world's first ethically explicit moral agent robot to work in universities and the business and social sector internationally. Maria Bott was commissioned for research in robot ethics and is currently Dr. Berry's teaching assistant on the subject of ethics of emerging technology. The creation of Maria Bott was inspired by a fictional character, Maria, from the classic 1927 science fiction film, Metropolis, directed by Fritz Lang. But unlike the evil robotic Maria in the movie, this Maria is designed to aid and augment human interactions. It is said she is atoning for the sins of her evil ancestor by being an ambassador for human-robot relations. As an android AI, Maria can interact with humans in a very real way. She resembles a human from the shoulders up and has complex facial expressions, head movements, and eyes well capable of recognizing emotional cues. Since she is modular, she can also appear as any race and change her voice accent. She engages in conversation on a variety of subjects, using AI to process and synthesize information to make her own decisions on how to speak and engage. This means people can take the microphone and have a conversation with her, thus portraying her as a real AI, not just a chat box. Maria can evolve in her ability to build rapport with people and in intelligence as she learns. People love being able to grab the mic and have a conversation with her in a panel setting and also getting a picture with her. Dr. Barry and Maria Bott are showing the world that AI can be used for good in conjunction with humans. AI robots and people are smarter together and are capable of improving the quality of life. Barry believes when robots are programmed with a life-affirming ethical framework, they are more likely to act ethically and help humans to do the same. The inevitable future of AI is already here. It is now left for mankind to readily adjust to these fast changes. Thank you for watching. For more thrilling videos like this, do well to like and subscribe.